Welcome to Tweet of the Week, and you are in for a treat because this week we are joined by a very special teacher, a science teacher at Monocacy Middle School, Mr. Shannon Storch. Thank you, Mr. Storch, for joining us to share what is a heartwarming story about your tweet. Uh, thanks, Dr. Alban. It's a pleasure. Um, it's actually an honor to be here as well. Um, so I'm a middle school eighth grade science teacher, and my tweet was about a young man who had a real um, memorable moment in middle school, a spark that he came to me and was so excited that he was able to get out of a math intervention class that he had been in for the past few years to be able to pick an elective of his choice, and he wanted to do problem solving because of all the fun things that he has seen and heard uh, from other students around the school. And so this was about leaving a math intervention class and going into an elective, but you're the science teacher. Yeah. Why did this young man want to share this news with you? So uh, middle school kids are unique in general, and it's really nice to, it's a personal mission of mine to make connections with kids in the hallways, around the school building, all that I can. And this young man and I have made a connection this year, and he was so excited that he felt like I was a person in the building that he could trust and that he was so willing to tell about his newfound success in education that he wanted to come just run into my room first thing after he got his report card. I said, Mr. Storch, look at this. I get to pick what I want to do. I want to go to problem solving because I hear it's so much fun. And as a science teacher, I've really tried to work with our intervention teachers, our math teachers, our administration to incorporate math into my curriculum as much as I can to mirror what they're learning in their classes, to help them see a real world application for it sometimes. And he wanted to make sure to let me know that he did it, I should be proud of him, and I, and I totally am and really happy that he gets to do something that he wants to choose in education. And now here it is on Tweet of the Week. Yeah. And you know, so many important pieces to pull out of that story. You yeah. talked about the power of relationships. Yeah. And you know, we talk a lot about teachers need to know their content, teachers mm -hmm. need to, you know, and you can go down that list, but if you don't build that powerful relationship with kids, a lot of those other pieces don't matter. Yeah, I totally agree. And one of the major things about FCPS is the mission. And the first part is to reach kids. And before we can do anything else with them, we gotta reach them and engage them. And once we do that, then we can continue to do what we do as educators. But kids come in with different certain uh, situations and circumstances, and every day we need to try to find their unique abilities and what's gonna get them engaged in education. And I try to do that every day by being a smiling face, a warm personality, somebody they can trust, even if they're my students or not. Every kid that walks in, good morning, good to see you, glad you're here, missed you yesterday. Just being a caring adult in the school system for a lot of these children is really some things that they just are looking for and need, and I'm really happy to be of service to FCPS. Very powerful. And then this young man being a story of perseverance, mm -hmm. knowing your goal, working hard to get there, and it took some time, but it was through that hard work, the support of teachers, that he then was able to meet that goal. And so what a wonderful testament to persevere, stay with it, work hard, it will happen. And so your comment about the elective that he had selected, where it's an opportunity to apply things that he's learning in the classroom, and your attempt to make sure in science they see the application of math, because that's another piece we know is so important. When you make that learning meaningful to things that they're excited about in the real mm -hmm. world, the motivation becomes intrinsic. Yeah, and I really look at it as it's, it's a huge team effort between not only myself, but the intervention teacher, the problem solving teacher, and administration. We're about taking care of kids and making this a great place for kids to come and a fun place to learn, but also taking care of kids on an emotional level as well and making sure that they recognize that we're there to help support them. And as a group, I feel like we're doing a great job at that with a lot of these children. Well. As I said, it was a heartwarming tweet, mm -hmm. a heartwarming story, but you're right. It is a story about the heart of our mission. Right. And I'll even talk about that first goal of our strategic plan, where you need to reach and make sure each and every student 
has that high quality instruction. Yeah. And that's going to take lots of different paths, but we can get there for each and every child. So you bet. thank you so much, Mr. Storch. It was a, a pleasure, pleasure having you here. And I know it's a tough one to beat because it really touched the heart, but I know there are a lot more out there, and I look forward to sharing them with you on the next Tweet of the Week.